So I study a type of brain tumor called a pediatric astrocytoma or glioma. Um, it's one of the most prevalent types of brain tumors in children. And when I started my clinical training, I was really astonished by how few new effective treatments are moving forward and that informed the research that I do. What we've learned about um, BRAF fusions in pediatric low-grade astrocytomas um, has been very informative in the pediatric field, as well as now these same types of BRAF fusions are being found in adult cancers. And so it's garnering even more interest and it's going to be even more informative in clinical trials, I think, um, in the adult world too. Um, and so really what's driven me um, into the research and the translational research field um, has just been seeing unmet need, um, working with patients on a regular basis, and having to tell families we don't have anything more effective right now. I think where foundations, and especially specifically the David Run Foundation, is so critical for um, early investigators is that they hear what the, or they really are able to identify and see the obstacles that are in place for people who want to go into research. Um, and so when I was first awarded my fellowship in 2012, it was, it was a different landscape. NIH funding has continued to dry up, just research funding in general. And conversations with the administrative staff and them asking, you know, what is it that you need um, you know, what is your effort like? What are the barriers to re your research? I have been just so pleasantly surprised that in such a short period of time of being awarded a fellow in 2012 to now two years later of having the foundation see where people like myself and researchers like myself need more time, need special support.